Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with another video and on this video we have an Acer Aspire 5253 series exact model is a P5WE6 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how to install Windows 10 freshly installed of the USB drive and the proper way without getting any of the bloatware or anything like that. The bloatwares are those Candy Crush, McAfee antivirus that they come with a promotion, affiliated programs are in a desktop whenever you buy your first computer we don't want to we want to avoid those and in this video i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video how to avoid them and in the process how to even on the process how to avoid them all right i made a, a specific video a separate video on how to create your windows 10 uh, um, usb drive boot drive so check that video link in my video description and once you create your windows 10 uh, boot drive it's simply, the, again, this applies for any Aspire 5253 series. It doesn't have to be exactly the same model. So yeah, so I made a video how to upgrade the SSD hard drive in here. For those people that didn't know how to install the Windows, that's why I'm making this video for them. It's simply, once you have the Windows uh, USB drive, you want to plug into the USB port on the right side, on the, any of these ports right in here, on the right side. Now, once we turn on power on, we need to go to the BIOS to activate the F12 key. The F12 key is to, once you power on, you're gonna keep tap F12 to show you where you wanna start booting. So we're gonna choose this to boot here. But as a default, the F12 is turned off. So we wanna go to the BIOS. To go to the BIOS, you wanna power it on. And let me see if I power it on. The charger all the way in. Power on and keep tapping on F12. Just keep tapping it once every two seconds. And it's gonna say, please wait at the bottom. And it should take you to a, a BIOS menu. It will be just like this. Let me see if I turn off my head light over here. There we go. Once you're inside the BIOS here, let me grab. And you wanna to go to the main menu with the arrow keys. And in here, you want to find for F12, it says right here, F12 boot menu, and it says it's disabled. So you want to go down and press enter on this one, and you want to enable it. So click enable. And once it's enabled, you want to go to the exit on the top side, and it will tell you say exit save changes. So once you click F, F change, you press enter. And it's going to say yes or no. Yes. Once you press yes, it's going to restart. Leave the USB on the USB port and restart. And now you're going to tap on F12. You keep tapping on F12. Keep tapping. And it says right here, entering to device boot menu. So now you are inside the boot menu here on the top. It says boot order. And down here, you want to look for your USB stick, which is mine is number two. Is that silicon? Your USB name is it might be a little bit different. So you want to go down and choose that USB and you want to press enter. Uh, it might flicker around, so don't worry about flickering anything like that. Every BIOS is different. Just be patient, take your time, and it's gonna take you toward the uh, Windows 10 installation process. So even the even the colors are not, I think it's in my camera, it doesn't detect the colors nicely, but I'm actually seeing it go okay, but for the camera lens is picking up different, I guess because of the LCD quality. Hopefully, doesn't decolorate in the during installation. So we're gonna get to this windows in here, and here you can use your mouse trackpad. You wanna choose your language, which is English. I already put a mark in there, so. You want to choose English, US, and click Next. In the middle, click Install Now. Make sure you do not connect to the internet, do not connect the Wi-Fi, do not connect with any internet cable, do not connect the laptop. It's very important, it's crucial to not do that. Do not do that. Now you're going to take a few seconds, few, one minute to get to the terms and services. All right, 
down here you want to click i don't have product key if you do have a product key you can click put your license key here if you don't don't worry just click i don't have any product key and down here you want to choose your windows 10 pro you might not even have this one you might just skip through so don't worry about this if you don't get this stuff my iso image is a little bit old so if you do get here just click next and this one is going to be obviously the same for all of them just click i accept the license terms and make sure you go through everything here and read them out and then click next in here is very important you want to click custom you don't want to click upgrade click custom and if you put a new disk you're just going to get one drive like this empty but if you do have a windows in it it might look something like it might look something like this so if you do have a few parts, it should say drive zero, drive zero. So all you need to do is click on any, any of them. Just click delete. Okay. And click on the next one and click delete. So you get one whole big partition, one complete repartition. And all you need to do is just click next. You do not need to click new. Just click next. And that should be all. Now it's going to do a few restart. It's just going to install and just going to do a few restart. And it's going to take you to a welcome screen to, well, so where you have to choose the name and few stuff which is more important i'm going to show you guys how to do it and that's the proper way of doing it so i'm just going to fast forward this part first restart and it's gonna just say that it's setting up stuff so and in my once it's finished setting up preparing it's gonna do its second restart and it should take you to the welcome screen All right, now it's gonna almost finish. We are gonna get to it. And just a moment, this keeps saying it's going out of focus. Now you're gonna uh, get it started with your region. Just click next, yes. And it's gonna choose for the name, probably right now. If it gives you the Wi Fi, connect to a Wi Fi, you don't wanna connect to a Wi Fi right now. yeah for a keyboard just click next us keyboard unless you have a different style add a different layout no you don't want to add a different layout and it should take you to a oh i put a layout so no just go back and language i put afghanistan come on so go back Add a secondary keyboard, skip. So here it's gonna try to ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi or network. Do not connect to any Wi-Fi or network or anything like that. Just click, I don't have an internet connection on the top, on the bottom left side. Even if you have, do not connect it, that's very, very important. And click continue with a limited setup. Don't click connect now. And then you wanna give your name for the laptop. In this case, I'm just gonna put a triple A. Click next for the password. You can leave it blank. You don't have to put a password if you don't want to. And click next. 
and you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of uh, check marks here you want to remove all these check marks these are all the information that will get add id and many other stuff on my device these things will slow down your computer so advertisement id just turn off all of them and click accept and click not now i believe just click accept uh, here just click not now for a cortana to help you just click not now even when you start sometimes the cortana starts talking just mute cortana and now it should take you to a desktop once you're inside the desktop it's very important to do the this part and once you're in the desktop first thing first you want to get some tiny drivers this and that just click on the cortana click maybe later on the microsoft edge just close this one and then, i don't like this type search bar it takes a lot of space so right click on the taskbar and on the search click on a show icon only now as, before you connect to internet it's very important that you go to the start menu let me put this one here so it does actually work now this is all you want to remove all these arrow keys and there's a whole bunch in here you want to unpin them from here because as soon as you get an internet connection this all this is going to start downloading candy crush all those tiny games advertisements and affiliated programs with the uh, microsoft so you want to right click on each one of these one click unpin from the start menu unpin as long as you unpin these arrow keys they will not get downloaded once you have internet connection this is very important so just unlink them and the rest you can just the programs that are installed when you unpin them they're still going to be in your program list but i just don't like them in there so you can unpin them from here and again if you want to remove your office or you have a license for this one just keep it if you don't if you have your own installation just uninstall it uh, or unpin them from here and that's it you know, once you do all this that's very important now you can go to the uh, settings and connect to a wi-fi or connect it via cable uh, then you can go to the update menu i didn't go to update let's go back you want to scroll down to update security and you want to uh, download the update this will download all the drivers that you need for screen drivers and everything else it might be a uh, take about half an hour to do all the updates you once you finish the update restart come back and double check make sure until you get a green check mark once you get a green check mark, then pretty much you are all set to go. And this is how you install Windows 10 on your Acer Aspire 5253 series. And I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like button and think about subscribing to support the channel. I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.